Welcome to Daily News Update. I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz, and these are your headlines from around the fleet. Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Gary Ruffhead officially re-established U.S. Fourth Fleet July 12th. Rear Admiral Joseph Kernan assumed leadership of the new command during a ceremony held at Naval Station Mayport. U.S. Fourth Fleet's missions will include traditional maritime exercises and counter-drug operations. Meeting the objectives of the nation's maritime strategy is a top priority for senior leadership. Every sailor around the fleet plays a critical role in implementing the strategy's objectives. What's the bottom line for the sailor on the deck places? What does it mean to me? Um, that strategic guidance may not have a lot of meaning until you connect it to what they're doing day to day, the watches they stand, the plan maintenance that they do, the evolutions they conduct, uh, you know, the administrative support or the medical or dental support that they, uh, that they provide to, to the sailors and to the families. To learn more about the maritime strategy, visit Navy.mil. A permanent change of station is a normal part of every sailor's career. Ensuring that service members and their families' medical needs are met no matter where they transfer to is a top priority for the Navy. Navy Medicine is not only here to do the Force Health Protection Mission from an operational point of view and an expeditionary medicine point of view, but that we are also capable of doing the family, the exceptional family member program, the EDIS educational programs that we are here for those families so that they will know that they are fully protected and that they are fully cared for by Navy. For more information on other medical programs, contact your medical provider. For the Naval Media Center, I'm Petty Officer Dustin Diaz.